video, we're going to take a look at the new graph template system. So first, let's create a new substance. So I would hit Command N on a Mac or Control N on a PC, and that's going to open the new graph dialog wizard. However, it's been enhanced with the new graph template system. So here on the left, you can see that I have some substance templates, such as physically based metal rough, physically based back gloss, standard, and so on. So with standard selected, you can see that I have a description area here. And then over on the right, we can see the graph outputs. So these are going to be the identifiers their label and usage. So these are the outputs that are particular to that substance template. And then here in the graph properties, we have the standard graph name, size mode, width height, format settings, and so on. Once I'm ready to create the substance, I would set my graph properties and then click OK to create the substance. Now, where this system really shines is that you can create your own substance graph templates. So to do that, you just create a new substance, just as we have done here. And I would just create the outputs that I want to contain within my template. So for instance, let's say that I come over and I grab an output. And let's come over to uh, the usage. Let's add an item. And let's say opacity. So I'm going to come over to my identifier name. And I'll give this a name like opacity, uh, a label. And so now I have this new output. And you can see that this output is going to be part of my new substance graph. Now, if I just double click here into the empty graph section to get to the root of the graph, I can come over and I can write a description in this area. So once this is set, all I need to do is save this package to a place on my hard drive or network storage drive. And then I will be able to access this as a substance graph template. So let's see how that works. First off, I need to go to my Preferences. So here I'm going to go to Tools, Preferences. And then I'm going to go to the Projects category. And I'm just going to scroll down until we see this new section called Substance Templates. And so by default, my Templates directory is blank. I don't have anything set up. So let's go ahead and configure this now. So I'm going to click the plus button to add a new path. So here in my toolbox for my substances, I have a folder that I call Templates. And I have a new substance package that I want to use as a template. So with this folder selected, I'll just click Open. And now this path has been added to the substance template directories. So now that this is in place, I can just click OK. So now let's say I want to create my new substance. So again, here on the Mac, I'll hit Command N. This opens up my new graph. However, you can now see that I have my new template here. And so I created a template that is based on the PBR Metal Rough, but adds the ambient occlusion and height outputs. So in my description, I can see that I have PBR metal roughness workflow with AO and height outputs. If I look at my graph outputs, again, here is my AO and my height. Now we have a couple different ways we can view this. So right now, with the first default button, this is the graph button, we're looking at just the graphs. If I click this cube icon, this is going to let me look at the templates through a substance package perspective. So here you can see that I have my empty SBS. Uh, here's the one that I created here, and the name of it, and you can see the path here that it's pointing to that toolbox substances templates folder that I created. Or I can just click the folder icon and view this through the folder. So the top templates, these are the default templates that ship with Substance Designer. Here is my templates folder and my own substance templates. Also, you can see that the project dropdown is set to all. If I were to set this to my user project, you can see that only the templates that are associated with my user project and my preferences are showing, which happens to be my specific templates, because that's how I set it up in the preferences. If we were to set this to the default project, you can see that under the default project, we only see the default templates that ship with Substance Designer. So the new template system allows us to customize templates and create our own. And as you can see, the template system is tied to the project configuration files as well. So this is really good for studio and team environments.